Good afternoon, everyone. I think we are now live and you can see me and hear me. I am Rebecca Demat. I am advisor for um, European funding, in particular Horizon Europe within Lux Innovation, who is um, Lux Innovation is organizing this webinar today on communication, dissemination and exploitation in Horizon Europe and um, in particular in the proposal within Horizon Europe. So um, a few words on the tool we are using today. You should have access to a chat where you are welcome to introduce yourself and um, chat among each other. There's also a question tab where you can ask all your questions. There's um, a specific time dedicated at the end of the presentation where I will um, try to answer your questions if they are not too tricky. So before we enter in the depth of the matter and um, in order for everyone to connect, a few words of on um, who we are within Lux Innovation. So the European RDI support team is a um, national contact point for Horizon Europe for Luxembourg, um, as we are based in Luxembourg. And um, our job consists of um, two main points, which are informing participants and stakeholders about Horizon Europe and supporting stakeholders and applicants um, with Horizon Europe. So um, what we do consists um, of identifying um, the most relevant funding opportunities within the program for your project, but also helping you um, redefine and structure your project in order to fit maybe better to um, a funding opportunity within Horizon Europe. We also help and support you throughout the search for partners and consortium. Um, we are here as well to support you and to monitor um, the grant application when you apply um, for um, a grant. We also offer legal and financial support regarding Horizon Europe and training and workshop that can be public or tailor-made, such as today, which is um, um, a webinar of training in that frame. So, um, on the topic today of um, communication, dissemination, exploitation, we will um, see three different points. So first, the rationale of um, why there is the need for these three um, thematic. Then we will go on understanding the concepts and make a focus on the exploitation plan within the um, Horizon Europe. And at the end, as said, there's a time dedicated for Q&A, so please feel free all along the session to add your question in the Q&A tab. So why do we talk about communication, dissemination and exploitation in um, a project or a proposal first within Horizon Europe when the program is about research and um, innovation? Well, firstly, as you know now, since a bit more than a year, we have transitioned from Horizon 2020 to Horizon Europe. Um, it's not a new program, it's not a revolution, but anyway, the Commission has um, bring forward a new narrative and um, new ways of um, maybe doing innovation and, and research. So the new narrative, the main one, is these pathways to impact. And this is really the new um, way of telling a story for a project that the Commission wants to um, implement and that needs to be shown in a proposal. So an impact, it is um, a wider long-term effect on society. So not only the people, but the environment as well. This is important to keep in mind. Um, so the effects on the society, the economy and the science that are enabled by the outcomes of the research and investment. Um, so on the long term, what are the outcome of the um, project? So the pathways to impact is defined as the um, logical steps toward the achievement of the expected impact of the project over time. In particular, beyond 
the duration of the project. And this is really important. So you need to think of the impact of your research also after the end of the project, after you are working on it and receiving grant for it. So the pathway um, begins with the project results, the dissemination of the pro of the results, sorry, the exploitation of the results and the communication. And all that will contribute to um, the um, program objectives, so Horizon Europe objectives, and um, to it will have a wider uh, scientific, economic, and societal impact. So the logic behind the Commission um, new pathways to impact is um, to have better dissemination and exploitation of results. This will lead to more impacts and to an improved value of the research and innovation that is funded. So a better use of the grants that the Commission um, is giving. It's important also to look at the regulation. Um, as you can see, um, especially one article, the 39, is directly about exploitation and dissemination. and um, the, the what the beneficiary needs to do when it receives um, union funding is to do its best efforts to exploit the results that um, the beneficiary owns or have them exploited by another legal entity. And this exploitation of results can be direct by the beneficiaries or indirect with um, through transfer or licensing of results. So with exploitation comes already the um, IP question. So it gives you a bit an idea of what it will be about. Um, so in this article, it's also stated that the proposal should include the plan for the exploitation and the dissemination of the results. So, from the regulation, you see exploitation, dissemination, it is something that is mandatory. And the final point that you need to keep in mind is that the plan um, for exploitation and dissemination of the result should be um, updated um, at the end of the action. So after the project is finished, it's something that is um, mandatory for the project beneficiaries to do and to keep in mind. Also in the model grant agreement, um, you will find reference to exploitation and dissemination, um, notably in the article linked to intellectual property rights, where exploitation is expected to be um, done by the beneficiaries up to four years after the end of the action. So you see it's also something that will um, have long-lasting effects. And um, there's a specific um, item in this model grant agreement that states that if the beneficiary, despite its best efforts, um, cannot, cannot exploit the result within one year after the end of the action, it should um, upload the result of the project on the Horizon Result platform of the Commission so that the results can be exploited by um, parties that could be interested in exploiting them. So the Horizon Result platform is a tool um, that you can use for free and that you can access through the funding and tender portal. It's the same um, portal platform where you access the grant and you um, submit your proposal. So everything is at the same place. Another um, important element of the um, model grant agreement regarding the IP is the ownership of results. So the rule is that the um, results are owned by the benefic beneficiaries that generate them. Um, the results can be owned by two or more beneficiaries jointly if they have been jointly generated. And if it's not possible to establish the um, respective contribution of each beneficiary, 
or if it's um, not possible to separate them for the purpose of um, applying and obtaining protection of the results. With these um, kind of blurred IP, sometimes it seems the Commission has also um, brought a new element within Horizon Europe, and it's the result ownership list. So this is a novelty that um, the beneficiaries of a project must do at the end um, of the project. So it's an obligation to produce at the end of the project a result ownership list um, in order to clarify the ownership of the results of the project and also to improve the process of the exploitation. So to know which partner has um, access and can exploit which results and etc. So um, this result ownership list should be um, complete and provide the data on the organization and individual who have the rights to exploit the results, um, which results are shared by a joint ownership and by whom and how third parties can access the results. It's an obligation, it's part of the final reporting process and um, there's a template of um, a table how to do it within the final reporting process. And um, something important also that stress out the aspect of an obligation is that if you do not submit this result ownership list, the reporting is blocked and um, it means that the, the final grant um, is blocked as well at the level of the commission. But if there is a dispute on the ownership of the results, this does not prevent you to submit the um, result ownership list. So having a dispute on the ownership doesn't block the reporting. So you can still um, finish the project in a sense. So um, maybe now let's go in what is maybe the most confusing for participants and applicants and these are the concepts of communication, dissemination and exploitation and in order to um, start on the same level for everyone I will also introduce the concept of results um, as understood within Horizon Europe. So when we talk about results, we talk about project results um, and they are defined as any tangible or intangible output of the action. You can have data, knowledge and information. Um, the form doesn't matter and if they are protected or not, it doesn't matter. It's really tangible or intangible output of the action that are considered as results. Then you have another um, important element definition for Horizon Europe project. It's the key exploitable result notion. So these are the outputs generating during the project and that these um, key exploitable results, they can be used to create um, an impact by the project partners or by other stakeholders. So um, project results should be reusable and exploitable um, as they are, so um, straight from the project or elements of the results can be um, also used and reused and they have, um, should have a potential to contribute to further work or research innovation. So project res results, they will be um, use and they can um, raise interest by different type of actors. So you can have um, research communities or member states, industries or civil society that can be inter interested by a project results. And they can have different forms. So um, for instance, um, project result in the form of um, a report can be most interesting for the civil society or the member states. Um, if you have, for instance, um, policy recommendation or a set of data out of the project, this can be useful for 
research community to create a new project on it, or also for um, policy makers to, to um, develop new policy based on them, etc. So project results have different form and a form that make them being possibly used for something else after, to have an afterlife after the project. Oops, goes too fast. So now um, we'll go over communication, dissemination and exploitation. Um, and I will try for you to um, make it clearer what it is, what are the difference. And I hope that at the end it will be you will understand this concept as something very easy because they are quite different, different once you know um, what they are. So the first one we'll go is um, about is communication. So communication is about reaching out to the society as a whole and um, to present the project to the maximum of uh, the public maximum of publicum possible. So um, it's something that is quite targeted and um, that you try to measure to see how many people you have reached and how different type of community you have reached. But what you need to keep in mind is communication is about reaching out to the society as a whole and to demonstrate um, how European funding contributes to tackling society. You see there, we don't use the term results, um, results of projects, so you don't focus the communication to the society on the results of the project, but on the project itself. Then dissemination. Dissemination is about making the results of a project public. And this is the huge difference between communication and dissemination. Dissemination is about results and making them public um, for the scientific community, but not only. So we can summarize dissemination as the circulation of knowledge and of the results so that um, someone interested can use the results. So here on this um, graphic, I hope you can understand better what is the difference between communication and dissemination. Um, there's also example of type of communication and dissemination. So if we talk about communication on the left side, it's about informing about the project um, to a multitude of audience. It's about informing and reaching out to society to show the benefits of the research of the project, etc. And this you can do it um, through the means of a newsletter, for instance, or press release in um, the general press, for instance, um, the uh, Let's Boyish journal, there you would um, explain what is your project about. You can also have project fact sheet that you could um, disseminate at public event that target um, the same topic you are targeting if there's an event on um, making the environment, explaining the environment to the publicum, there you could have a project fact sheet and, and disseminate and distribute it during this event for the public to um, know more about your project. Social media is also very much um, related and connected to um, communication as you can reach out to the maximum different audience possible. On the other side, on the right side, you have dissemination, which is um, about results only, results of the project, and uh, to make these results available. So this you can do it uh, through, and you do it if you are a researcher, you already do it through scientific publications, for instance, but you can also um, publish policy briefs of, or roadmaps, that um, comes from the results you have from the, the project. You can also organize trainings, targeted trainings with um, stakeholders to present the project and the, the results and, and so on. And um, so sharing the results also on, on um, online repository 
um, such as um, EOSC, the European um, Open Science Portal, we will see later. This is part of the di dissemination effort that um, is demanded by the Horizon Europe project and that you need to put in place. The biggest beast in it, I would say, that is sometimes harder to understand and to put in place is the exploitation. So as you, we have seen um, earlier in the first phase, exploitation is mandatory up to four years after the end of the project, or if um, after one year you see that you cannot make use of the results, which is um, what exploitation is about, then you should publish the results on the Horizon Europe result platform. So exploitation is the utilization of the results in order to develop, create and market a product or a process to create or provide a service or new standardization activities. So it is not always possible to, um, for instance, market a product after with some results, but I hope it gives you the idea what exploitation is about. It's about making use of the results and especially the exploitable results of the project. Um, and that is to, in order to concretize the value and the impact of um, research and innovation activities of European research, notably on societal challenges. So, um, as I just said, exploitation, exploiting the results may not always um, end up in marketing a product, it can be also um, the possibility of the results to improve the public knowledge and um, recommendation of policy making. So it's, it doesn't necessarily have a commercial mindset in it. So um, again, with some examples, um, regarding dissemination and exploitation to make a clear distinction. Dissemination is about making the results available, full stop. Exploitation is making use of the results. And for that, you can, um, for instance, create a spin-off because the results needs um, further implementation, but you can have a commercial route for that. You can also develop a project. You can um, file in a patent. The results can also be the basis for PhD thesis um, for more research because it's just the beginning, for instance. Um, this gives you the full range of um, possible exploitation for results. So in brief, so you have a full overview of the difference between communication, dissemination and exploitation. Communication is about informing about the project and results as well, if you have them depending on the life of the project, where you are within the project. Dissemination is about making the results um, public and um, open for use if this is the way you have decided to um, protect your results. And exploitation is using yourself as beneficiary or maybe a third party, that these results are used. So not only making them open in the public, this is dissemination, but using them. Now, this is the third um, part of this um, presentation, webinar on communication, dissemination and exploitation. And I will focus on the exploitation plan because um, this is what you have to provide within the proposal in the um, second part of the proposal when you apply for Horizon Europe. So it's important to consider at the proposal stage that you as an applicant have to submit a short description of the dissemination, exploitation and communication activities and the impact pathways 
and we have seen that at the beginning. So this, you have to submit it at the proposal stage. And the novelty in Horizon Europe is that um, this information needs to be described in the form of an impact canvas. So um, the impact canvas, you can already find it within the proposal template on the funding and tender. Um, the commission has given an example, two examples that um, can help you understand better um, what is expected. But the, temp the canvas is composed of um, six squares. So the first one is specific needs, and you need to identify the specific needs that have um, triggered the project. Why is there a project? What are the issues that need to be solved and that results in the project? Then you need to identify the expected results um, at the end of the project and how you will communicate, disseminate and communicate about the project, disseminate and exploit the results um, that you have achieved throughout the project. Um, the impact canvas also makes you um, look for and identify the target groups um, of your project. So the target group is not only, for instance, the research community or the policy makers. It can um, indirectly be some part of the civil society. So you need to keep an open mind on and, and also look far beyond than the um, obvious target groups that you would see for your project usually. Um, on the outcomes, in that case, you need to um, think of what um, you expect the successful communication and dissemination and um, exploitation as well of results. What is um, the results of these activities that you wish to um, have achieved in real life? So um, it can be, and um, as it is here uh, presented in the um, example, that the results of the project are taken up by several entities and they use the results. And then on the impacts, um, you have to think on the longer term, term as uh, we, see, we have seen earlier that impact is about longer term. And you need to think of what impact on the longer term, on the scientific domain, on the economic domain, and on the societal, including environmental domain, your project will have. Um, coming, well, continuing on the exploitation plan, for you, it is also important to consider during the project that while for the proposal you need a short, brief dissemination, exploitation, communication plan, the complete one has to be submitted um, as a deliverable six months after the start of the project. So you need to have that also in your deliverable list to um, have it and to make it. This dissemination, exploitation plan, communication plan um, also has to be updated at the end of the grant. This is um, part of your obligation as applicants and um, project uh, coordinator. But the plan can be monitored, reviewed and adjusted throughout the project. So if you see during the project that um, what you had foreseen is not enough, then you can modify it during um, the project. And that's part of the new novelty of Horizon Europe. Once the project is finished, or just at the finished time, you need to publish to submit the result ownership list. And you have this um, obligation to exploitation for at least four years. Um, <coughs> sorry. So on 
what you need to cover within the exploitation plan and to keep in mind is um, the end users and potential customers that the project results um, to, with whom the project result could have um, an impact so you need to think who are there they you need to consider all possible uses and users as said also during um, the um, impacts canvas um, you have to identify the need that you are catering for and the problem that you are solving and um, to clarify how your solution is better than the existing one. The exploitation plan should also um, cover the delivering value, so which commercial routes um, you intend to take and to make with the results. Um, so these are, for instance, setting up a new business or licensing the, the product results, pro um, product results, etc. There can be also non-commercial routes um, if you are not at this stage. So that can be um, evidence for policy making, the um, creation of new project based on the results, etc. In the exploitation plan, it's important for you to detail the plans, if you have some, such as the business plan, the business model, and the um, business case, these would need to be um, detailed in order for the Commission to um, ensure that they are viable, and also for you um, to be sure that what you intend to do is viable. So the exploitation plan takes care as well of the um, IP agreements such as um, the um, background and contribution to foreground, the ownership of results and the exploitation interest. You should also consider the innovation management, how you are involving end users in the project. Um, if you have enough budget for the exploitation measure or if you need an additional management measures. So, these are the general things that should be covered by the exploitation plan. Some tips would be um, to have concrete actions to be implemented during and after the project and to identify the key exploitable results. So not all results you will have from the project will be exploitable, but it is important that you identify the one that are that are and key for exploitation and um, the future of possible project or, um, well, exploitation of results. In that um, world of exploitation, you are not alone. The Commission has put in place several tools. So um, there's the Horizon Result Platform, as we have said earlier. It's um, understood, um, well, it's created as a repository for key exploitable results for um, European funded research and innovation project. The objective of the Commission with this tool is to um, make these exploitable results easy to find and um, ensure that they are indeed exploited the way they should when the project is finished. There's also um, a consulting service, the Horizon Result Poster, that can help you with your dissemination and exploitation activities. So it's a free service and um, it can support you for everything regarding dissemination, communication and exploitation. Then um, the Commission has put in place the Open Research Europe platform. It's um, a publishing platform for um, well scientific articles to be published in the open science, within the open science policy of the um, Commission. Um, it functions as a traditional um, science publishing platform with um, a review 
and a peer review of the articles. The difference maybe with uh, some traditional open publishing, publishing platform is that the um, articles are open for everyone. This is the open science policy of the Commission. There's also the um, European Open Science Cloud, the EOSC, which is um, which has the aim to federate all the existing research data infrastructure in Europe and to have all data and related service for science um, easily accessible in Europe. So um, it covers several scientific domains, so from health, humanities, um, agriculture, or you, you can find data from very various domains on it. And the, the cloud offers um, also various services that you can use as applicant beneficiary and also project owner. To finish, um, and to make it maybe a bit more concrete, this is the example of one um, exploitation plan for the project resolved. Um, on the left, you can see they have identified the key exploitable results. And notably, the first one, it's about power electric electronic device that you can see on the right. And um, the exploitation measure they have um, decided to go with is to license um, their results in order to um, license the prototype and to have a commercial value of the device. So this is one way of doing exploitation. It's the most common when the project result also allows for it. So this is um, what I wanted to explain to you today. If you have questions, I'm now opening the question tab and I can um, answer them. And if you don't have questions, you can always um, send them to me by mail and I can reply and answer them later if you um, they come to you later. More information um, on this webinar, the, the recording will be available on the YouTube channel of Flux Innovation. And um, you will have the slide through the uh, video. So as I don't see any question, um, we can end it here. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact me or to watch again um, the video. And um, with that, I wish you all a very nice afternoon and hope to see you soon in one way or the other. Bye.